page, okay, then first of all, you need to build one because that's really how business is done and scalable when it comes to internet marketing. I know a lot of people, including myself, we use our personal. I can tell you, uh, you know, wholeheartedly is that it has its limitations. Okay. No matter how many friends you have, no matter how many followers you have, you cannot control the traffic on your, on your personal Facebook, because that's not what it's built for. The only thing you'll ever get is organic reach and it's up to Facebook to decide who sees it and when. Okay. With fan pages, there's no limit. That's what they're for. Okay. You can reach millions and millions and millions of people with your control guys. So that's why I encourage people to use fan pages for business. And then you can have your personal as like an add on or a backup to some of those things. So um, the major, like I said, a major difference is that with personals, you're limited with fan pages. You're not. So here's look, you know, people can tell you whatever they want to tell you, but numbers will never ever lie. One and one will always equal two. And I'm going to show you some stats to show you why Facebook lives are so powerful. First of all, my, my fan page has a lot of fans and their organic reach. It's, it's challenging sometimes, but look at the stats and this is current guys. This is not like last year stuff. This is from the other day. Okay. So Facebook lives get the highest organic reach period. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And you can see, uh, if you look at the other posts, their image posts, their quotations and stuff like that, look at the reach and then look at the reach from just of uh, Facebook Live that I did just hanging out in, in the theme park. You know, nothing spectacular, but it was just, it's just the way it is. Facebook Lives just have the highest reach in, in possible on Facebook. Um, they also allow for the most engagement possible because people are connecting with you live. You know, you're this superstar behind the computer and this is their one and only chance to get to connect with you live. And some people just want to be a part of it. Just imagine if you can hang out on Gary V's live on Ty Lopez or some of those other big gurus and you can say hello to them and they actually say hello back. Like imagine how that makes you feel. Well, it's the same thing here. People get a chance to interact with you only through a live and no, nowhere else. You can upload videos, but it's a video. It's, it's a recording. So they can't interact with you. So it's not the same. Also, this builds up the highest trust available. Again, because you're broadcasting live, there's no, there's no second takes. There's no, you know, if you mess up, if something happens, it's live. You can't go back and change that. So whatever's happening, whatever you're doing at the moment, that's it because it's live broadcasting. So it builds a lot of trust. People get to hear you, see you, understand who you are, get a feel of your character. And the best thing you can do, guys, I always tell you, you know, just be yourself because people just want to know who you are behind the business. There's no secret to it. In this business, it involves character and involves, you know, someone's face, someone's image. So the best thing you can do is don't try to be like someone else. Just be the best version of yourself and people will fall in love with your character. And that's all you can do. So I'm going to show you the post that I did the other day um, that brought me in about an extra 30, 40 people. Just like I said, just broadcasting live from in the middle of the park. Um, and there's a lot of psychology behind this. I'm going to go over it real quick, but let me just get straight to the brass knuckles because I know uh, we don't have a lot of time on here. We have other speakers. So real simple, guys, this is this is a uh, example post that I make. Uh, I, I do test with many others. I, I do test with long posts. I test with short posts. I test with, you know, weird posts. But this is usually what works when you want to get straight to the point. So, you know, I put the arrows there so you could, I could point them out. But basically, you got a simple headline that grabs attention. And it's usually a question, you know, 100K training for free. Like, yeah, why not? You know, that's that's pretty dope. Let me find out what this is. The next thing I usually do is just tell the viewers straight up to engage. OK, I know it might seem like why do we have to tell them or, you know, it's, it's kind of common sense. But you don't understand people are used to being commanded on what to do. That's just the way normal, you know, pers personal instinct is. People want to be told what to do. They don't want to guess. So every time I make a post, every time I do something, I tell them exactly what to do and they'll subconsciously just follow what you tell them. So I used to tell them to like and share for the link. And then here's where, you know, it gets interesting. Um, this, where you see right here where it says, as promised, here's a link and then there's a link. I didn't put that right away. What I did first was I put the headline and I put like and share for the link. I waited till I reached a certain amount of engagement before I decided to go back and, and post the link. Now there's a way to do that, it's very simple. Usually I have a phone and a laptop with me at the same time, but if you're you know, just using one device, 
um, you can go back and edit the post after it's done broadcasting. Okay, it's a little difficult to do it while you're live, but there's a way to do it after it's done broadcasting when the live is over. If you happen to be in front of, if you're using your phone to record and you have your laptop in front of you, which I do in most cases, you can actually edit the post while you broadcast. Okay, you just need two ways to, uh, two points of contact. So if you're like, what I did sometimes, I put my phone on a little, uh, like a tripod, a little mini tripod, and I'm recording myself but my hands are free. So when I reach a certain amount of engagement that I'm looking for, I'll go on my laptop and I'll edit the post and put the link in and tell people, hey, the link is now posted, go check it out. But I don't put the link right away because I don't want to give it away without first getting what I want, which is I want people to engage. So I edit the post, put the link after I reach a certain level of engagement, whatever it is that you're used to, try to reach a little bit higher and get it organically and then give them the goods. Um, after the live is over, it's optional. You can boost it and get extra traffic, okay? Uh, also, let me show you the stats. So as you can see, people watched for a total of 836 minutes, got a, a total of 100 reactions, 91 comments, 37 shares, 1.3 thousand views. Uh, this is not one of my best lives, but again, it was just in the middle of the day in the park and I, it was just mad random and I just did it all. I didn't have my tripod, I didn't have anything with me. I just grabbed my phone. Uh, luckily it's an iPhone and it's waterproof. So I wasn't worried about the way this started shooting, okay? The point was, is to get the organic reach. Um, the psychological part behind this is that you gotta understand, this was I think Thursday, right? In the middle of the day where most people are doing what? They're stuck at work, they're stuck in their office and really not where they wanna be. So here I am broadcasting in the middle of the day with my family at a theme park. Okay, you can see all the blue, all the water and the rides behind me, that all adds to the fun factor. Like people can vision themselves being there right now with their family. They wanna be in your shoes. Okay, they don't wanna be where they're at, which is usually in a cubicle or somewhere, you know, it could be in a warehouse doing something, but where I'm at, when they're at two different places and I can assure you that if they're not living the lifestyle, this is where they wanna be. So I purposely use these backgrounds to paint the picture for people. Like I said, the best thing you can do is water, beach, you know, blue skies. Again, the rides are behind me. So you know for a fact, and look, we're all smiling, we're all having a good time. You know for a fact that I'm having a better time than the person that's watching this, all right, if they're not living this lifestyle. So that's, that's the kind of uh, image I'm trying to portray here. Um, and then after it's done, very simple. You respond to all the comments with your link, okay? And that's an example. That's exactly what I would write. Okay, check your inbox. Also get access to training for free by clicking the link here. Very simple. Again, just tell them what to do and that's it. It's not complicated. I mean, guys, you're not asking for any money. You're not asking. For, it's as simple as it can be and it works. All right, so just tell them what to do. And then also uh, while you're replying to them, also send them an inbox with the same message just in case they don't see the comment. You're in their inbox and, you know, one way or another, those see the message with fan pages here's the difference guys with personal facebook's you guys are limited you can actually get a uh, block from sending links you can get blocked from uh sending messages to many people with fan pages you can send three four five thousand messages and not get blocked you could have links in every single one of them and not get blocked so that's the power of fan pages versus personal so again i respond to the comments and i message them with the info as well two points of contact there's no way they can miss it unless they're just not interested all right, so here are some last minute ninja tricks before I pass it on to the next speaker. Guys, you can use a software to auto reply to all the comments and inbox. Um, I don't have the software name offhand, but you guys can reach me on my personal Facebook, you know, when this is over and I'll be more than happy to share with you. I have to find it on my laptop, but there's a software that I just started testing that actually works. Um, it does comment and it inboxes the person as well. So it's very cool. So again, you want to leverage your time for money. You don't want to sit there and actually respond to the comments, but you set a software, it will auto reply and it will inbox them, which saves you a lot of time. Okay. Um, here's something that people don't know that I learned uh, recently. You can actually pre-write your post before you're live and save them. Now, the reason why I say this is important when it comes to Facebook lives, because when you're on a live, when you're about to broadcast, you only can type right there and then. Okay, so it's a little hard to start doing the emojis and doing all this crazy stuff when you have to type on that little box before you go live. So what I do is I pre-write my posts exactly the way I want them. I can use emojis, I can have long paragraphs, I can do all of that. I save it as a draft and before I go live, I open up my drafts on my phone, I copy the whole post, 
and then I paste it on the uh, post that I'm about to go live. long copywritten posts when you're about to go live. So I pre-write it, check for spelling errors, all that good stuff, label it, do everything I want to do. And then I save it as a draft. So when I'm ready to go live, all I do is simply copy and paste it from the draft and put it on the new post that I'm about to go live with. So, all right, try it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, another ninja trick is use many chat. Many chat is the next thing. I think it's very powerful. And you can simply send a broadcast to all your subscribers. Say, hey, I'm live, go check me out. And then put the post to your live, or if you can't, copy and paste the post at the time, then just send them to your fan page. Say, hey, I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm, I'm going live right now. Hop over to my fan page and, and, and say hello. You know, and tell them, say hello, you know, like that. So that way they'll just automatically go over there and see what you're up to. Um, also, you can email your list and let them know, hey, I'm going live in 10 minutes. Go check me out. Uh, share on your personal wall and also share in groups to get extra traffic. And this will actually, this can double or triple your viewers. So if you you're sitting around 20, 30, 40 viewers, you can all automatically get to 100 or more just by using many chat and emailing your list and stuff like that. Or if you don't have any of that stuff, just simply share it on your personal wall or in your Facebook groups and you'll, your viewers will start to climb up. So I think that's it, guys. That's all I have for now. I hope this helps. It's very simple, but I'm telling you, it's extremely uh, effective and powerful. Dude. That was dynamite right there. I mean, some of the stuff you were teaching right there, people have paid good money just to learn those simple steps. And that's what I love about that training, Alfredo, is because it's people think that it's this massive, complicated thing. But when you break it down into that type of like, do these simple things, people are like, oh man, why didn't I think of that? Just to do those simple things and implement. And it sets you so far ahead of where you think you even currently are. So, um, I really appreciate that, Alfredo. That was really, really good stuff. Hey, Michael. I, I, I want to add, man, Alfredo, yeah. unbelievable, buddy. I mean, there was like 95% of that stuff I didn't even know, okay? And more to the point, if y'all are watching here and you didn't know that, well, you're going to get that plus about a billion times more because this is what FLN is all about. This is what Finish Line Network has really been built on to showcase the goods, okay? Because there is so much out there. Sorry to jump in here, Michael, but I, I'm just blown away by what Alfredo just gave up here, man. Now, yeah, it's totally quick, cool, Doug. I appreciate you jumping in. Yeah, go ahead, Alfredo. Quick point, guys. Um, I'm a bit advocate of teaching what works now, not something that's worked four or five years ago. You know, that's it. So I, could, I, show, I purposely showed you guys a post from like two days ago because that's what I'm doing now, and this is what works now. And uh, I doubled and tripled my signups with what I showed you guys. So if you don't understand what I'm telling you, you have to do it now because between many chat and Facebook lives, my signups went to the roof just because of those two elements right there, guys. So get out there and make it happen. That's what's working right now. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really appreciate that. Everybody needs to go and implement that. One of the things that you said um, is timing right now. I mean, in terms of approaching people, you're not asking for any money. And that's kind of why we titled this Saturday training position for profits, because now is the time to take those simple actions to implement the stuff we're training you today, because this is the time that you guys can position yourself ahead of the masses, ahead of everybody else when, when we officially later this month. Um, and, and that's the idea of you positioning yourself now with applying the things that we're teaching you today, even if you just apply one of them, you're positioning yourself ahead of other people that might be getting started a week from now, a month from now, um, and that's the idea is that you're positioning yourself now. So do not be afraid to share and implement the, the strategies that we're teaching you guys today um, and put yourself out there, share your link with other people that you have uh, a finish line network. Now is the time to position yourself for the mats that you have the potential to earn. So again, thank you very much, Alfredo. Next, I'm going to bring out Holly, Holly's going to come out. Holly, why don't you come out and continue this fantastic training that we got going on here Saturday? Awesome. That was absolutely amazing, Alfredo. I, uh, I never even thought, like, ask first and then go back in and put the link in and after. Like, totally genius stuff. And it really occurred to me while you were training that the biggest thing that I love about this industry is, like, you guys go do better. Go have fun. 
it's like part of the requirement. You have to go out there and enjoy your life and go have fun. Um, so being at the water park with your family, going out to the park with your family, showcasing that kind of stuff is like super valuable. And it was for me, a lot of people are in the shift, like I got to work hard, work hard, work hard. And yeah, you have to take action and massive action and put that work in and having fun with your family and integrating your lifestyle. That's where the biggest results come from. So that's why, um, like, I loved your training and what you're doing. And that's exactly why I love Instagram. So I'm going to talk about Instagram. Alfredo has been like killer on Facebook. I have loved Instagram. I've been using Instagram for years now. Literally, I've done well over six figure, built a six figure business on Instagram. So I'm going to share with you guys a little, some tips to help you build up your Instagram accounts and be able to use Instagram to be able to get signups. I did not do cool little slides and a whole presentation like Alfredo, <laughs> Alfredo but that's okay. So um, I'm going to actually share my, so first off, let's go over why Instagram. Like you're going to hear a lot about a lot of different list building strategies. That's ultimately what all of this is. Paul talked about the importance of you know, building that relationship with your list, but you got to build that list, right? And there's a lot of different ways that you can go out and build your list. Facebook being a super powerful one, definitely uh, utilize Facebook. And I've used Instagram ultimately because, you know, Instagram is a great way for me. I'm very creative. I need like a creative outlet. Instagram is one of those places that I've been able to put that outlet on. Not only that, but I'm a mobile person. That's what really attracted me to Finish Line Network was this app and how mobile it is. Um, I am a very busy woman. I run an agency. I homeschool. I have like, I'm just a busy. I got a lot of stuff going on. All right. So I love traffic. I love systems and anything that I can do on my phone, like sign me up. I want to know how to do it. Right. Or I don't know if any other busy, not even just moms or women, but busy people in general, I like to things on the go. So I made a decision to really go in and master Instagram. Some really cool things about Instagram, like obviously Facebook bought them out, not like a year or so ago. Um, Instagram is is where it's happening. Uh, depending on your demographic, the demographic on Instagram is typically between like the younger gen generation up to about 40 and then 40 up, uh, you'll find them on Instagram. But ultimately, I think it's pretty roundabout here. Uh, people that want what we have are on Instagram. The best way that now I've run Instagram accounts, I've run multiple Instagram accounts for different niches and different companies and different things. And um, the best way for specifically our niche and the home business niche is to really get a like niched account. Think about the people that are really looking for what we have. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you guys actually uh, one of my, my Instagram account that has gotten me signups. Um, for multiple things. Like I've had this account for a while now. Can you see my screen? You're good. I can't show you too, too much on my screen. Cause again, it's mostly mobile. I can't share my TV. So that's something that I've actually just started playing around with is having weekly segment, different topics of um, living like a, a purpose life and being able to track wealth and stuff on on here so it's another way just a bunch of instagram has a whole, whole new thing in itself so ultimately when you're creating your instagram account like think about not so much like your name unless like you know there's people on here they've been in the industry for a while they use their name all of a sudden they're going to blow up because their name they've branded themselves over the years but if you have not branded yourself over the years you don't have a huge following you don't Maybe you're even, I think this is a great strategy for people who are maybe a little introverted and don't want to like totally get out there is to be able to use Instagram, which uses pictures, which uses um, ultimately it's content, right? So as you can see here, this attract wealth, it's all about, um, I'm very like into manifestation and the law of attraction and being able to attract things. I've been able to attract a super cool life, right? And so ultimately your board is telling a story. So this is sharing a story of my life. I've been able to travel. I've been able to, it's got results that I'm doing. It's got cool little um, like sayings and 
uh, ultimately, when you go to this, you're like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Like, here I am at the beach. I'm a, I was in Hawaii, too. Paul, if you're in Hawaii, I, I know what it's like. It must be like six or seven o'clock in the morning. I was working on Eastern time and in Hawaii. I was getting up at like three o'clock in the morning. It was crazy, but it's super fun. So, again, it's like all that fun stuff that we're like, I'm now letting you know that part of your job is to go out there and have fun. Like you got to put it in by creating that content and creating like the pictures and here you're really just sharing a story of your life and that, that is going to create curiosity and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, what is this person about? What are they doing? Right. And then you can bring them into your, into your bio and into your bio. So let's talk about some things. So setting up your account, ultimately some good things that I've seen uh, for home businesses Law of attraction, if you're into that, that's a very popular topic on Instagram. Um, luxury boats. Um, I've had a luxury boat account that I've done, has done actually very well, uh, putting pictures of yachts, like who knew? <laughs> right, so putting uh, like yacht kind of stuff, luxury kind of stuff, lifestyle things. We're in like the lifestyle business. That's what people want, right? But be authentic with it. Don't, um, and it's funny, when I started this, like I wasn't really, cause I've started, I've had this account for years now. Um, it was, I was attracting wealth, right? I was attracting what I wanted. So I talked about what I wanted and I shared like what I was manifesting out to the world on my face or on my Instagram. And it was like a way for me to like really put it out there. This became like my vision board. And then I started actually living it. Right. So <laughs> that's super cool. Another thing I wish I could share with you guys is using stories on your Instagram. Um, as you create your account, um, create it very niche, very specific. When you use your username, like automatically when you see Attract Wealth, you know that this whole account is about attracting money. Like that's what this account is about. All of the content on there is about being able to attract money and finances. And ultimately people who are on this page, they want more money. This is a perfect opportunity. Go click in my bio. I will show you how to attract and live the life of your dreams, right? So they click on the bio and that's what brings them in. So the sto your stories is a great feature of Instagram that you can, this is like your daily, your daily operate, like not um, here's what I'm eating like look here, like just stupid little selfies, but it's a way that you can share. Like I create whole stories. I have like my mindset in the morning. I do videos of, um, and it really warms people up. Like there's lives, there's stories, and people can really get to know who you are. Like I have this like super cool book club thing. It's like the Netflix of books. So I do like a story and I talk about what book I'm reading and how I just got this cool book in the mail. Right. And that's when people start getting to know who you are and you start building that trust up with them and that know, like, and trust, you start attracting your people. So my biggest tips that I can give to you guys, and I'm going to wrap this up, is to really um, to attract people to start your Instagram. First off, pick a niche, pick something that is really going to speak with the people that you want to work with the best, the most. Right. And it bridges with the offer that we have. Your offer is Finish Line Network. Right, we offer it's it's being able to live that freedom life, that laptop style life. So create something around that, right? To be able to get followers, create a story in your board here of your lifestyle, be inspiring, share things and that has to do with your niche and that board. It should all be congruent with each other. And then you guys, you can use hashtags. Hashtags is I didn't go too much into them. It's ultimately you can type in hashtags um like let's see laptop lifestyle and you can just see like a whole bunch of posts like over a million posts are about laptop lifestyle there are people on here that are living the laptop lifestyle or want to live the laptop lifestyle on instagram that like that's what they do they search this stuff out there's over a million posts that are just about that topic alone right so so i'm well, sorry for the pgs instagram is a little like that sometimes <laughs> <laughs> but um, ultimately, guys, start researching hashtags and don't put them in your comments or in your po actual posts, but put them in your comments because then it looks less spammy. Instagram is doing is, is really buckling down just like Facebook is. It's evolving. A lot of times, like back in the day, people could go on Instagram and just like 
put in a whole bunch of hashtags that looked ridiculous and would get like thousands of people on them. Well, you don't want to be absolutely spammy. People are aware of that now and ultimately just put them in your comments. And as, as you're consistent, the more consistent you are, you start posting three, four times a day, creating your stories. You'll start, it's like building that momentum and building that curiosity. And then people are just going to know, like, and trust you and want to do what it is that you're doing and learn from you. So that's what I got. I'm going to share the screen back to you and how. Awesome, Holly. Thank you very much for bringing that. I love the, I mean, you guys are hearing a little bit of a trend here. It's about sharing your story, sharing your lifestyle, sharing with other people, because at the end of the day, people buy from other people. And so if you're marketing something online, you have to make yourself personable uh, for people to really want to connect with you. So that was absolutely good, good stuff. I mean, you're, you're talking about it on Instagram, but it can really literally be applied to any social platform, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, you name it, you can apply it to those different places. And speaking of YouTube, um, winners here at the end of this webinar, and I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but we're going to be picking a couple of winners from the testimonial videos. And that's what I love about those testimonial videos. One, we requested it because we wanted to hear your guys' feedback. We wanted to see those testimonial videos. But two, I'm seeing people that are saying, I've never recorded a video before. This is my very first time. Here it is. And they're great. They're personable, they're relatable, and it's you. And so we're going to give some kudos to a couple of people that have won some free traffic uh, from Finish Line Network here to send you guys some free traffic to your links. So keep those testimonial videos coming and stay tuned to find out who those two winners are. So next, I am going to be throwing it over to uh, another gentleman uh, that's on here today, Mr. Darren Little, who you guys have probably known uh, and seen in the groups here. He is absolutely killing it inside of Finish Line Network. And he's going to like dive deep into our mind here a little bit. So Darren, come out here and uh, let us know what you're going to be sharing with us. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Guys, I'm really, really excited about this particular program. And I'll tell you why, because they've simplified things right down and made it super, super easy. Okay. And that's really the key, okay? Because there's a lot of people that want to make money, but there's so many moving parts and they don't even know what to do. They don't even know where to get started, okay? Who can relate to that, right? If you, if you can relate to what I'm saying there, say, Darren, I can totally relate to that, right? Because that's one of the biggest challenges that people have is there's so many different rabbit holes online, okay? Now, one of the things I'm going to share with you guys is the most important, the most important thing is this, what's going on right here, okay? Now, if you're working a full-time job and you get up in the morning, you go to work, you typically have a boss that's going to tell you what to do, okay? Now, the challenge that people have when they become an entrepreneur is you don't have a boss. You are the boss, right? And that changes things dramatically. And I'll tell you why, okay? One thing, your self-talk. Your self-talk, okay? And if I stop talking right now, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start talking to yourself, okay? And the thing that I'm going to tell you about the human brain, guys, is that about 70 to 80% of our self-talk as human beings is going to be negative. Negative. It's not going to support our preferred state, okay, our preferred state of being, okay? So what you have to do is you have to be constantly feeding your mind with positivity, with motivation, with inspiration. You have to literally be speaking your reality into existence, okay? I am successful. I am a leader, right? I have value, right? And what my millionaire mentor said to me is he said, Darren, a lot of people get into this industry because they think it's about selling products, okay? 
and if you uh, come from what I call a features and benefits driven type of business model, which most people do, have I got a deal for you? Check out my deal, right? That's not our industry, guys. We are actually in the leadership business. We are in the personal development leadership business model. So you have to engulf yourself into personal development. And I'm not talking about five minutes, guys. You should be setting yourself at least an hour. Per day where you're plugging into part of your daily activity. Because here's the thing that I'm going to share with you guys. Every day that you get up, you're walking on a tightrope, literally, okay, between two different realities. Over here, you've got everything that you want, and over here, you've got everything that you don't want, okay? Now, here's the challenge. When stuff's not going right, when you've got stress at home, when you've got kids, when you've got stuff going on, when you've got traffic, and you get frustrated, okay, what creates the actual reality? What creates the reality? I'm going to share with you the equation, the actual equation for manifestation. What's going to determine which side of the reality that you are? Are you going to get everything you want or are you going to get everything that you don't want? Okay. So write this down, guys, because this will completely change the game for you. Okay. It's thought directed emotion that generates feeling. Okay, I'm gonna say it again, guys. Thought directed emotion that generates feeling, okay? Now, how are you gonna know which side of the fence that you're on? Real simple. Multiple times throughout the day, you gotta ask yourself one question. You gotta take a deep breath. How do I feel? How do I feel? Okay, now that's going to determine which one of these realities that you're in. Now, what created the feeling? What created the feeling? Concentrated, repetitive, focused thought is what created the feeling. So in the event that you're not feeling good, in the event that you're feeling angry, in the event that you're feeling frustrated, guess what you're manifesting? Everything you don't want. You're going to make it harder and harder and harder for yourself because you're emotionally connected to that feeling in here. This is your compass. This is your compass, guys. You have to get very, very in tune with your body, with the physiology in your body, because that's what is broadcasting out the message. And in the science of getting rich by Wallace D. Waddles, which I highly recommend that you read, they call it formless substance, formless substance. But from quantum physics, it's known as the electrons, okay? Your body is communicating with those electrons. Now, here's the thing that people don't really understand about this. That electron is in what's called a state of superposition. It's actually both a wave of energy and a particle of matter simultaneously. That's the two realities. Everything you want, everything you don't want. Now, you're going to have to steer your ship, guys, by how you feel. What's the feeling that's going on in your body daily, multiple times throughout the day? How do I feel? Okay. And then you got to backtrack and say, what was I just thinking about? What was I repeating over and over in my mind? Was I emotionally connected to, oh, It'll never work, right? Who can relate to that? A lot of people start off like, oh, it'll never work. I'll never be able to do this, right? A lot of people go through that. I know that when I first started, guys, I didn't even know how to use a computer, okay? And all I saw was all these buttons and these rabbit holes. And then people told me, oh, dear, you got to get on Facebook, Facebook. I mean, that's, a, that's the key, right? And then I got on Facebook 
And there was not only the keyboard of rabbit holes, but there was all these other rabbit holes, right? And I didn't know how to type. I didn't know how to type, guys, right? I still don't know. I still type like this with two fingers as a chicken pecker typer, right? So the thing that I'm going to share with you, it doesn't matter what your skill level is, but it does matter what your mindset is. So you have to make this part of your daily activities, guys. Because remember, 70 to 80%, 70 to 80% of our self-talk every single day is going to be doing this <laughs> to ourselves. We're going to be beating literally the shit out of ourselves, okay? So you have to be able to push that down so that the, this part up here is way bigger than the negative self-talk. And in the event that you don't continually feed your mind, right, with motivational videos, uh, audios, books, you know, uh, getting around the right type of people, you can literally take yourself out of the game. And don't think that all of us don't go through the same stuff daily too. Don't think that once you, once you start making some money, guys, and you maybe have a you know a hundred thousand dollar month or you make a million dollars, don't think that it's gonna go away. Okay, because I got news for you, it's not. It's never gonna go away. It's called the human condition, right? And we all battle it, right? The the, the thing that the 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 peak performers know is they just accept it. They accept it. Right. So they're constantly every day feeding their mind and getting around the positive, like minded people and then pushing away the, the negative people that they, you know, they're in a lower vibration. You'll, you typically don't see the seven figure income earners hanging out with all the people that are the victims. Right. They want to hang out with other positive people. They want to hang out with the peak performers. They want to hang out with people that are talking about like Alfredo and I talked for about an hour yesterday on what, what's, what strategies are working and what are we going to do to make another million dollars, right? Those are the conversations that you want to be part of. So you will be able to monitor, right? And I, I encourage you to do this today is to write out, right? The five people that you hang out with the most, five, okay? Write them out, put their income, write them out, put their income, write them out, put their income, add up all of their incomes, divide it by five, you will have your income plus or minus 10,000. Okay, so if you're hanging out with the seven figure income earners, there's a high probability you're going to make more money. Just keep on showing up, guys. Keep on showing up, right? That's 80%. Just show up right? Take notes, show up, take notes, show up. Okay. Now, when it comes to marketing, here's what I tell people. This is what I tell my students. Pick one strategy. Okay. One to start. Don't say, okay, I'm going to do Instagram. I'm going to do Facebook. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do blog. I'm going to do this, right? Pick one, right? Get good at one thing to start, right? And some people say, well, Darren, I like visuals. Okay, well, maybe you want to do Instagram or Pinterest, right? Or Darren, I'm a good writer. I like writing. Okay, well, maybe you want to do a blog, right? Or you want to do articles, right? So pick whatever that you can be excited about. Because keep in mind, you don't have a boss. So you have to find something that you're passionate about that you don't mind investing more time into so that you can become an expert. Okay, so here's an example. Like when I think of, uh, say, April Marie Tucker, I think of Instagram, right? Uh, you know, uh, when I think of uh, from, from five, six years ago with David Wood, I think of blogging, right? Because they mastered one skill and they became very, very good at it, right? So that sort of becomes their light post, right? So they, become, they start doing training, on the, the, the most important things truly are lead generation. How are you gonna get in, generate leads for your business? And how are you gonna make more sales, okay? Every business owner needs these two things. If you take away the leads and you take away the income, 
Guess what happens to your business, guys? You go bankrupt. You go bankrupt, right? No leads, no cash flow. I don't care if it's online, offline, land-based, restaurant, nightclub, doesn't matter, right? No leads, no cash flow, you're gonna go under. So those are the things you wanna revert back to your particular strategy. And you wanna master that one thing first before you start branching out into three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. That's when people, especially when they're brand new guys, that's where you create your little loop, your tailspin, right? It's a lot of information. So keep in mind, we all started at the same place as you. Every single one of us are constantly feeding our minds. We were going to webinars and seminars and tapping into the peak performers and constantly learning, constantly learning, constantly growing. That was the key, guys, right? And our dream was bigger than our excuses. Our dream was bigger than our excuses. And we were prepared to make some personal sacrifices. Truth be known, okay? So I'll give you an example. Uh, Ari, my business partner and I, we rolled out this one campaign and it was the biggest month that I've ever had, okay? I, I did like 165 grand in, in 30 days, okay? But I did 13 all-nighters that month, guys. Now, would I do that every single month of the year? No, no, I wouldn't, right? Right after that, I flew to Manila to go meet Ari and I took a couple months off, okay? But the story, but the story could never be taken away. That's the power. So would, would you do that? The question is, would you make the personal sacrifice to be able to get the big win? Because keep in mind, guys, we only got 12 days. We got 12 days left, right, in pre-launch. So you got to ask yourself, what are you prepared to do for your dream? What are you prepared to do for your family? What are you prepared to do to make a personal sacrifice? Like this just showing up here today shows that you want to change your life. Just being here today, right? Because there's a lot of people that aren't here today, right? We, the, you know, think about it. You guys are one of the few that do just by being here because the energy that you will get being here live is way different than watching a recording. It's way different right? Because this thing that we're on right here is like an energy portal. It's an energy portal, guys. So the energy that you're getting in a direct hit right now, it won't be the same if it's recorded, re watched by other people. So you guys are one of the few that do, right? So first of all, give yourself a pat on the back, right? Good job. I'm super excited, guys. Phenomenal job to Greg and Doug and the team. Great job. Phenomenal leaders, guys. Just keep on showing up. Back over to you, Michael. Man, Darren, I, I really appreciate it. That was some dynamite, dynamite stuff. We got some serious energy. We got Greg fired up over here based on this. I mean, the energy that you brought and some of the tips that you brought in there. I mean, literally with the group that we have right here on the screen right now alone and we, we could be here for eight hours giving you guys insights and lessons that we've learned over you know the last several years that we've been doing this and that's the kind of stuff that we're going to be bringing inside of the products of finish line network so and, and and like darren said there this is so key this is something so true to me in terms of you'll have an idea of i want to be a great leader i want to be a an awesome online marketer and then instantly your true feelings and your true thoughts kick in you're like no you're not you can't speak in front of people. You can't put yourself out there. You'll never be good at internet marketing. All those things kick in right away. And I'll be something, Darren, I'm gonna share this to be very real with you. I've made $80,000 in a month. And the first of the next month, I start doubting myself thinking, well, I can't do that again. That was only a month fluke, right? I mean, that's, that's the kind of things that even when you start achieving success, you still have to keep reminding yourself of the, and affirming your own word of, you are a good leader. You can do online marketing. You can run a business. You can. And start generating. And guys, are you loving this stuff so far? I mean, this is this. Is
this is a Saturday. We're an hour in. We're about to wrap it up. I'm actually going to bring you guys just one little strategy on YouTube, an actionable item that you guys can do even with your testimonial videos that you guys have been submitting to us and that you're going to be submitting to us. I'm going to give you guys one little YouTube strategy and tip here that I have actually been doing for over two years now, and it has helped me dominate some of the affiliate marketing programs out there. And it's one of my little insider secrets, but I'm going to give it to you guys today because I really want to follow by the examples of these other speakers that we have on here today that have just been giving you guys some stuff that is solid gold um, and, and, and give you guys and reward you guys for being here today and positioning your guys' self for the profits that are about to come. So who wants to hear a little YouTube strategy? I want to hear in the chats. I'm looking at all the chats. I want to give a shout out to everybody on YouTube that's watching live, everybody that's on Facebook that's watching live, everybody that showed up for the Zoom that's watching live. We are pushing, I mean, currently right this very second, about 800 viewers across the internet. Um, I'm going to go back and look at the numbers afterwards, but shout out to everybody that's on here and showed up on a Saturday. I'm hearing lots of chats coming in saying, yes, give me the good stuff on the YouTube. So let me give you a little insight in here. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to share my screen here, and I'm going to show you something um, that I've been doing for a couple of years now that has worked time and time again without fail. So here I am. I'm not logged into anything. I've cleared my cache, and I want to lead by showing you guys that it actually works. This actually does work. And keep in mind, I came actually a little bit late to the party in terms of pushing a video to YouTube because I was so busy helping with the, the pre-launch webinars and everything. So it doesn't matter when you get started, it's about getting started and putting a video on YouTube. So if you wanna do something on YouTube, let me show you this here. I'm gonna do, just type in finish line network and let's just see what comes up. Oh, Alex, who's been doing a great, in the, uh, in the leaderboards and referring people to Finish Line Network. And then the second video on all of YouTube for Finish Line Network is my video that I put out there a few days after pre-launch. This is, I didn't have a jumpstart or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys a real example here of that what I'm about to show you does absolutely work. So this is the little trick that I'm gonna teach you guys. And I'm gonna, be diving deeper into some of this and some of the products that we're going to be bringing to Finish Line Network. But when you upload your video to YouTube, in fact, I'm going to just sign in here so that we, I can show you real time here how this works. If we upload a video to YouTube, this is a really big key right here. You guys see my screen? It says unlisted. You can see that there? I'm gonna zoom in just so you guys can see that. Make sure you guys can see that. It shows unlisted. This is the little strategy. Now there's some additional things you can do to further boost your video, further rank your video, but this is the little strategy that I start out every single one of my videos that I upload to YouTube. And that is, is that I upload it as unlisted and then I get at least a thousand views to it before I ever show it to the world. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? What does unlisted mean? Unlisted means that it's not searchable. Nobody can find it. It doesn't exist on YouTube. It doesn't even exist in YouTube's algorithms yet. That's the key right there, YouTube algorithms. I could spend quite a bit of time on this topic and really dive deeper right now, um, but I will in later videos. But the YouTube algorithms is what is really keeping some of your guys' videos from getting those views. So if you knew how to jumpstart those algorithms, not cheat the algorithms, but jumpstart the algorithms, you can get ahead of other videos that were just blindly posted up to YouTube. So when you upload your video, as unlisted, you are putting it to YouTube, but you're not triggering the algorithms quite yet. This is the strategy that I use. You upload your video, you grab the YouTube video link. So that's the link, the URL that gives you after you upload it. And then you're going to come over to this website called My Social Now. 
And full disclosure, I actually own this website and this business. And so I take very, very good care of my customers. But this website here and company will deliver, and you can come right over here to YouTube, come right down here to Ranking Views. You're then gonna come here and you're gonna purchase a minimum of a thousand views. You're just gonna purchase them. Now, you're not gonna expect any sales from this. You're not gonna expect any you know, engagement from this. This is literally to jumpstart the algorithm. Now, I'll warn you, don't go there and just blast your video with thousands and thousands and thousands of views because again, this isn't gonna give you, you know, any type of engagement, probably not any sale. They are coming from real YouTube. user accounts but you're simply just going to order a thousand views because they are coming in organically um, but they're all sent there to your video and once you get those thousand views the minimum of a thousand views you are simply going to change your video from unlisted to public and it, it'll be in the video itself and you just go in there and you just change it from unlisted to public and guess what happens when you do that? When you do that, you are jumpstarting the YouTube algorithm because this is what happens. YouTube looks at that video and says, wow, this video was just uploaded six minutes ago and it already has a thousand views. And that jumpstarts the YouTube algorithms to start sending more search results to your video because they're like, wow, this video is probably going viral because it already has thousand views in six minutes. Does that make sense to you guys? That's, that's the simple little starting point that I use for every single one of my videos. I'm seeing several people in the chats that are asking what website is that again? So it's mysocialnow.com. Um, I keep the prices extremely, extremely low on there because I want it to just be a tool and a strategy for people to be able to use. Um, but that is the website I send people to. And that's the exact website that I use to get my YouTube video views jump started. So what'd you guys think of that? Is that something you guys are gonna go implement? You guys are gonna go and start putting into action? Cause it, it all this information, all this good stuff that you just heard from all these fantastic speakers that we have on here today does you absolutely nothing if you don't go and implement them. Am I right, Doug? If, we, if, if people don't implement these things, it does you absolutely no good. If you never upload a video, if you never work on your mindset, if you never get on Instagram, if you never go to Facebook and start becoming a little bit more social and putting yourself out there and showing people that you're a real person like Alfredo brought, does us no good, right, Doug? You know something, Michael, I'll tell you what, what I would love for you to do is come back Tuesday night and do this all over again. And you take the first position, buddy, because I think that everybody really has to get this, okay? It's critically important in today's social marketing environment world, right? It's so important. We got to have this mapped out, stepped out, and everybody's going to get this. Darren, unbelievable, buddy. That mindset. I was so fortunate to be in personal development when I first met Greg in 2004 at a direct sales company. That's how I started off, man, with personal development, and it's critically important. Thank you. Holly, I almost want to give the next challenge to be an Instagram challenge, okay? Wow. To come back and, and literally go literally now 10 minutes over, we try to cut it one hour, come back Tuesday night. We're going to tell you exactly who won and more, more importantly, crank up those testimonials. Give us some more. You got 48 hours and we'll double the number of people we, uh, we celebrate Tuesday evening with more free traffic. Okay. So guys. Thank you so much, everybody who came here. I know I'm going to see you all on the beach of slopes and cruise ships of the world. Back to you, Michael. Thanks, Doug. I really appreciate that. Yeah, come back Tuesday night. We're going to be taking some more deep dives into what Finish Line Network is all about. We're going to bring you some more guest speakers. If you guys enjoyed this value, share it with somebody else. That's all you got to do is share this. Go away from this webinar 
tell people what you learn, give them your link to join FLN for free, and they're going to get access to this. I mean, we've got like several more days before we officially launch the products, and we're giving you guys tons and tons of value that you guys can run with right, right now. Cool. I'm going to have a fantastic Saturday. We're going to cut this off now. I'm going to unmute everybody here and bring everybody back on here because we are out of here for today go out there and have a fantastic day Good job. yeah 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 mr paul Cassidy, uh -huh. Woo -hoo. yeah Good job, buddy. great job everybody Good job, guys bye bye now